I'm back and what I'm doing here this afternoon is I'm going to try and get a spark plug out of the head on this engine. This is a Ford 3.0 V6 engine and I'm putting it together like this is the engine I swapped out of that other vehicle and I've got it in place here and I realized before I put the intake manifold on here that covers up this part of the cylinder head, I, um, I want to get the, check the plugs, make sure they're okay. So I, I, I got one out and I went to get this one out here and it stripped. Now it didn't strip the threads what it did was it stripped the square on the you know the hex on on the plug so you know the socket's just turning around 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 and i've tried you know a number of different sockets i tried a smaller socket hoping to jam it down on there and, and i couldn't get that to work so anyway i i went online and i started looking for products that might get it out and i thought well, how am i going to do that and i i see this product here it's made by Irwin, and it's supposed to be able to grab something that's like where the hex on the spark plug is stripped and turn it out so let, let's let's try this i'm going to open this up and uh, we'll see if we can get that out of there so i think it's this one here for 5 8 spark plug and you see how it does have a reverse thread in it see if i turn the if i was to turn it this way to take something out it looks like it's going to dig those little fins into whatever's stripped on the spark plug so let's try that I'm going to just try it on a spark plug out here and see if we can, let's see here, just to see if we put it on a spark plug. Oh, it seems like it'll, it's grabbing there, yeah. So the other one down in the hole there, the this part is stripped off it, right? It's rounded off. So we're going to try it. What I did uh, as well was I put some, I sprayed some WD-40 down the spark plug hole. Um, about a week ago. So it's been sitting for a while. So let's try this and see if it works. All right. Down it goes. Let's see. Ah, look at that. It turned it. Just like that. That was completely stripped. I, the, the socket wouldn't move that thing out of there at all. Just as easy as that. Look at that. Okay, now it didn't come out with it, but uh, I'll use another socket that has a bit of rubber in it, like a spark plug socket does. If you can't find a spark plug socket that has the rubber in it, sometimes you put a little piece of rag in there and it'll grab it enough to pull it out. Okay. There it is. Let's see. Let's see how stripped it was. Well, you can see. You can see around the edge of it there. Let's see if we can get this over here. Now you see it there? See how it's all rounded? Yeah. See the socket rounded it. It was. It wasn't coming out, and there was, was going to be very few ways to get that out. There was going to be very few ways to get that out with a socket or anything. You know, I, I contemplated what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to pull the head off, I thought, you know, maybe even. But that little tool, that thing there, man, see? That grabbed it. It came right out. You saw how easy it was. And that was tight, you know? That was a tight spark plug. There was no way that was coming out without that. Look at that. Well, I'm quite impressed with it. I don't know if I'll have call for these smaller ones, you know, because, I mean, if it's a spark plug, this is 5 8 that's the, probably the only one that fits a spark plug, but this is probably going to come in handy for some other stuff, so, yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. It's called Irwin Bolt Grip. I don't know if there's a part number on it anywhere. Let me see here. Yeah, it's probably just go by that, yeah. Deep Well Bolt Grip Irwin. Okay, and that's how that's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.